hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about unfortunate love was how lakshmi finally find the real kitchen pen drive after balvinda lost the pen drive then balvinda rendered rishi unconscious using a flower bouquet so let's continue from there the family gathered together to bond the statue during the ravan festival and virendra asks that where is rishi grandma says it is good that everything is fine Nilam says, where is Rishi? I told him to come before the auspicious time. She says, today's auspicious time cannot be postponed. Virendra says, Rishi will come. And Nilam asks Aish to do the Ravan ritual if Rishi doesn't come and everyone is shocked. Ayush asks Nilam to relax and says that he would go and search for Rishi. He says, Rishi will come with me. Balvinda ties Rishi inside the Ravan statue so that when the arrow is fired at the statue, then Rishi will be burned to death. Ayush calls Rishi on phone, but Balvinda disconnects the phone and sends him a message that he is coming. Ayush gets happy that Rishi at least sent a message, even though he did not pick the call, and he thinks that Rishi would come. Balvinda talks to the unconscious Rishi and tells him that by the time he regains consciousness, then he will be in hellfire and the soldiers are waiting for him. He says if you regain consciousness before the arrow is fired at the statue, then you will die of heart attack. He says, I'm doing you a big favor and says, I will kill you as killing Ravan. And the big thing is that your own family member will kill you by firing the arrow. Balvinda says to the unconscious Rishi that he will meet in the next bath and he goes out of the Ravan. Lakshmi misses Rishi and she recalls giving him the clothes that he will wear to fire the arrow during the Ravan festival. A flashback is shown. Rishi checks the clothes and he likes it. Lakshmi helps Rishi to wear the clothes and a song plays in the background. Lakshmi says to Rishi that you are looking good in the clothes. Rishi thanks Lakshmi and says, I know that I look good. He says, I will do the ritual of firing the arrow at Ravan and says, if I did not get bail, then I would have gotten a special permission to come here. Lakshmi asks that why is it important for Rishi to fire the arrow and Rishi says that victory of firing the arrow is necessary and the flashback ends. Lakshmi calls on Rishi's phone, but Rishi is not picking the call because the phone is with Balvinda. Lakshmi messages Rishi to come fast for the Ravan ritual. Balvinda is having Rishi's phone and he says Ravan ritual would happen, but Rishi cannot do it because his own ritual would happen and he will be dead. Ayush thinks that where is Rishi when he had messaged him that he would come, but he is still not here. Malishka tells Kiran that Rishi is not replying to her calls or her messages. Kiran asks if Balvinda is taking revenge from Rishi and Malishka gets worried. Malishka calls Balvinda, but Balvinda doesn't pick the call, and he says that he will not pick Malishka's call today, and Malishka gets doubtful. Lakshmi calls Rishi again, but Balvinda did not pick. Balvinda thinks that if Lakshmi would have loved him, then he would have made Lakshmi his queen, so he sent a message to Lakshmi from Rishi's phone that today is the day of victory and evil, but this is the day of devil and the opposite thing has happened. My heart is broken, and that is why you should let someone else do the Ravan ritual. Lakshmi read the message sent to her phone from Rishi's phone, and she thinks that why would Rishi message her like this? She thinks that someone is having Rishi's phone, and that Rishi is in danger. Ayush comes near the Ravan, and he gets Rishi's perfume smell. He thinks that where is the smell coming from? Malishka comes there and asks Ayush if Rishi is found. Ayush says if I would have found Rishi, then I would have told the word and I will not meet him yet secretly. Malishka asks Ayush that what do you mean? Ayush says just as Rishi is found, I will tell you what I mean. Malishka is irritated with Ayush's word and she gets Rishi's perfume smell and she asks Ayush if he found Rishi. Ayush says even he got the smell. Malishka asks Ayush if he found Rishi. Ayush says if I had found Rishi, then I wouldn't have stood here still looking for him. Sonia calls Ayush and asks him to do the Ravan ritual and says Rishi is less of mom and more of Lakshmi. She asks him to go and change his clothes because the auspicious time will go. And Ayush says if the auspicious time wouldn't have happened, then Rishi would have done the ritual. Sonia says we have only one evil at home and that is Lakshmi. And I feel like someone should just throw Lakshmi out of the house already. Lakshmi gets some weird feelings and she had teary eyes. Lakshmi recites the Ravan mantras and says where there is Ravan, then there is Lord Rama and says where is my Rama, where is my Rishi, a song plays in the background and just then 
Rishi regains consciousness in the Ravan idol and he gets angry, recalling how Balvinda tied him up there and says, I will not spare you, Balvinda. Nea is drinking juice. Rano asks, Why are you acting as if you don't drink? Nea says, I just drank soft drink and juice. She says, This is a rare fruit juice, which we got only in rich people's houses. Rano asks her to become rich and says, Grandma sent Shalu to bring Ayush. And Nea says that Grandma gives work to everyone and not only Shalu. Rano asks Nea to trap Ayush for marriage. Nea gets happy and says she will go, but Rano asks her to finish her juice. Nea says rich people leave juice unfinished and she asks Rano to drink it. Nea comes to Ayush's room and sees him in a Rama's costume and she calls him Lord Rama. Ayush thinks to tease Nea and he asks that what is her wish. Nea says her wish is to get the husband. Ayush says she is a fool and says he will get angry and he asks her to ask what she wants. Nea asks him to give her what is in her heart, but Ayush says I am busy and he asks her to ask him what she wants. Nea tells Ayush, thinking that he is God, that she wants a good husband who is loving, caring, and rich, and who will treat her like a queen. Ayush says, For that, you have to do some hard work. Nea asks, What should I do? Shalu comes there and calls Ayush. Ayush signals to Shalu to keep quiet. Nea tells Shalu that God is in front of me. But Shalu pretend and says, I cannot see anyone in front of you. And she asks if Nea is okay. Nea thinks that only she can see God and she gets happy and she thinks that Shalu is a sinner. Shalu thinks that Rano is a bit sensible, but her daughter is a complete fool. Shalu asks Nea to see clearly that the person she is calling God is Ayush. Nea says, really? And Shalu says, yes, look clearly, outside. Balvinda thinks that he had escaped, but Rishi would die. And he thinks of how Rishi would take his last breath in the Ravan idol and says Rishi might even die before the Ravan ritual. Rishi is shown tied up in the Ravan idol and his face turns red. Ayush asks Shalu why did she tell Nea that it was him. Nea gets upset and asks Ayush that why did he joke with her feelings. Ayush asks Nea not to say anything because he is in God's avatar now. Nea sits down again and says that she will not get angry. But Shalu sends Nea out of the room and Ayush laughs. Shalu asks Ayush why he is laughing like a raven and says he is Lord Rama now. Ayush asks her to ask him anything and says for right now behave and says you can get blessings from me and if you don't take my blessings now, then God knows what will happen with you. But Shalu says you are just playing the role of God today, but you are not God himself. Ayush asks Shalu to touch his feet if she doesn't want to upset God. Shalu touches Ayush's feet and thinks if God really gives special blessings by doing this. She thinks that what am I thinking? Ayush comes to Rishi's room and wonders where he is. He thinks that he is younger than Rishi like Lakshman and he thinks that Rishi should be the one to do the Ravan ritual, not him. Nea waits for Ayush and she tells Shalu that Ayush did not come till now. Shalu thinks that I thought that Ayush is God for once and I got these thoughts in my heart. Nea says Ayush is like Lord Rama and says if you haven't come there, then he would have blessed me. Shalu says Ayush was only teasing you. Ayush comes there and calls them Balika and he asks Shalu and Neha to come with him. Karishma sees Ayush with Shalu and Neha and she thinks that what are these middle class girls doing with Ayush and she asks Ayush to come with her and she take him away. Shalu asks Neha to come with her. Neha refuses but Shalu takes her away with her forcefully. Karishma asks Ayush if he is ready to fire the arrow and Ayush says yes. Lakshmi thinks that who messaged me from Rishi's phone. She falls down and sees Supu's shoes. She finds his leg moving and she goes there and check him. She finds Supu and asks him to get up. Balvinda looks at Lakshmi and thinks that his destiny is bad today and then he thinks that thank God that Supu doesn't know his name. Supu regains consciousness and tells Lakshmi that one man was taking an unconscious Rishi away and he fainted again. Balvinda gets happy and messages Lakshmi from Rishi's phone asking her to come home because he is in trouble and he is inside the house. Lakshmi reads the message and thinks that Rishi is inside the house. She thinks to ask Shalu to attend to Supu and Lakshmi goes away from there. Balvinda thinks to lock Lakshmi in the house once she goes inside and he thinks that today Rishi would die. Nilam asks Karishma to do Ayush's tilak so that they can begin the ritual, but Ayush stops her. Karishma asks if Ayush is insulting her. Ayush says no, 
and he tells them that they should wait for Rishi because he is small and he cannot do the ritual when Rishi, who is an elder, is still alive. Nilam says that Ravan ritual should happen at the right time and she asks Ayush to do the ritual and Karishma does Ayush still lack like happily. Lakshmi is still there searching for Rishi because she is feeling his presence. Ayush is about to fire the arrow at the idol. Rishi struggles to set himself free inside the idol and he sees that Ayush is about to fire the arrow through the hole but he couldn't do anything to stop him. Balvinda, who is standing at one side looking at everything thinks that today history will be created because one brother will kill another brother unknowingly. He thinks that today evil would win against the truth. Ayush shoots the fire arrow at the ravan but the arrow falls down on the ground and Ayush thinks that he does this intentionally because he doesn't want to do the ritual instead of Rishi. Rishi gets worried while he is stuck in the Ravan idol. Karishma asks that why is Ayush not aiming the arrow well. Sonia says if Rishi was here, then he would have done it rightly. And Ayush asks them to call Rishi to come and do it right. Virendra says you are not doing it right. Nilam says you are doing this intentionally. And she asks him to do the Ravan ritual for Rishi. Lakshmi is running to the house to look for Rishi, but she overhears the story of Ravan ritual and how Sita was deceived on the festival day and Lakshmi thinks that so this is a trap by someone. Rishi is not in the room. She thinks that she has been getting messages from Rishi's phone which is very weird because Rishi would have called her instead of messaging her. So she immediately realized that someone is tricking her and she thinks to call Shalu. Balvinda thinks that Rishi would die surely this time. Ayush is about to fire another arrow and Rishi says I am inside Ayush but nobody could hear him. Lakshmi calls Shalu and asks her to take care of Supu. Shalu asks what happened. Lakshmi says Rishi's life is in danger. Balvinda sees Lakshmi coming back and he thinks that his plan to trap Lakshmi inside the house failed but Lakshmi cannot find Rishi this time. Virendra asks Ayush to fire the arrow as the priest says the Ravan mantras. Malishka tells Kiran that she is now scared that Balvinda might have done something with Rishi because they've not found Rishi till now and she says to herself that I swear I will kill Balvinda if anything happens to Rishi. Balvinda thinks that today nobody can defeat him. Malishka comes to Balvinda and asks that where is Rishi. Balvinda asks that who is Rishi? Your Rishi or my enemy Rishi? He asks if he is Rishi's bodyguard. Malishka says if you don't tell me where Rishi is, then I will shout and I will tell everyone that you are here and Balvinda laughs. Balvinda tells Malishka that yes, go ahead, shout and tell everyone that I am here. He says today is Ravan festival and says if I am Ravan, then you are my partner in crime and if I am burnt to death today, then I will take you along with me because we committed the crime at the hotel together and I still have the real pen drive with me. Malishka gets angry at Balvinda. Balvinda says I will tell everyone who had done the hotel incident and he remind Malishka that they are partners in crime and he leaves from there and Malishka feels helpless. Rishi is struggling to free himself to come out of the Ravan idol. He sees Lakshmi through the hole from the idol and says Lakshmi is searching for me. He shouted calling Lakshmi but Lakshmi couldn't hear him. Lakshmi stands in front of the idol and she holds her wedding necklace on her neck as she is feeling Rishi's presence and a song plays in the background. Okay guys, so I just want to let you guys know that I am seeing your request to bring um, Radha and Mohan update back and I'm not ignoring your request. I actually saw everything but unfortunately I'm too busy for now to start any other series update. This one that I'm doing myself, I'm struggling. So, but very, very soon, I will start giving update about Radha and Mohan and also Aparajita as well. So, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.